Hey fellows, what's up? It's Squid Prince here, and today I have a 6 gen battle for you. I wanted to try it out. I'm really not, you know, too familiar with it whatsoever. And, um, I don't know, I'm starting to, start to get more of an interest. Uh, I haven't beat my game yet, exactly, because, uh, I've actually been pretty busy with school right now. And I haven't really had time to just sit down and, and play it like I'd really like to. Because what I have seen is the game is absolutely sick, and that I just think it's really awesome. But uh, I do want to try and uh, you know, get really into it and with the competitive and see what's new about it. And so I could start you off with my team. Um, I do have a, a Gudra, I have Greninja, a Pangoro. I'm trying to use Mega Agron because I think Agron, Mag I think Mega Agron is the tits, honestly. Uh, Talonflame and uh, Tyrantrum. But here are my stats for uh, my Gudra. Stats for Gudra. All right, I am running special defensive. Uh, Greninja. I'm just running a mix set because it's kind of like Infernape. So uh, he's fast enough where I can definitely run uh, modest nature on him, or not modest. Uh, well, whatever it was. My my Pangoro. I am running my uh, hammer arm to sky uppercut with my iron fist. Really trying to hit hard with him. My Agron. Uh, and he's going to be like a little bit of shenanigans with T waves, stealth rocks, and then um, just have earthquake and iron head as some real heavy hitting moves. As I, I see, I don't even have a nature on him for this. I know I do. I need to get rid of him on negative attack. I do have talent flame. Talent flame is freaking, is absolutely awesome. Reminds me of Star Raptor, who's like my favorite poke of all time. And I hope he can do the job as well. Uh, just got to watch out for rocks at flying fire. Uh, combination is that's not you know fantastic <clears throat> and finally for my team I'm gonna end up having a Tynantrum which I am actually running uh, a scarf Tynantrum and uh, like he's got a real strong move pool he's got good power speeds all right so I figured let me throw a scarf on him and I did the calculation and he can actually outspeed a max speed base thir 130 so he could pretty much outspeed anything that's not uh oops well now that you you saw who the winner was i guess we can get into the battle but Ty tyrantrum scarf max speed can outspeed a lot of stuff but he leads with Kabrink, i leave with greninja i figure i'll go for a hydro pump see what happens and he he hangs on i didn't know this because i haven't played at all he has sturdy and throws up a light screen he ends up bringing in his Sylveon, and I have heard that uh, Sylveon is, you know, crazy special defense, so it's going to be like a new Umbreon, but uh, I end up just going for a waterfall, uh, my life orb's coming down, Sylveon ends up flinching, that's not, you know, that's Sylveon's problem, but, you know, just like back in grade school when you pretend to hit someone, it was like, ugh, two for flinching, that Sylveon right now. So I end up, you know, flinching Sylveon all the way down. Sylveon, thanks for hanging out. Take a seat. He ends up bringing in, in uh, the Ghost Steel type. Not sure how to say his name yet. I end up going for a, a Hydro Pump. Miss it. He goes for a Swords Dance. Does a backflip. Punches me right in my beak. And I'm like, oh man. This thing could end up being a problem. Waterfall does do a lot though. However, I am taken down by my own Life Orb Recall. I was like, oh, jeez. Now, he ends up going for King Shield. I have no idea what King Shield is. Like, I had to ask, uh, I had to ask Dog the King in the chat. I was like, hey, man, what was that? So he explained to me it was pretty much like protect. And if I attack during his protect, then I go down two stages in my attack. And I was like, what? Like, my mind just blew up for a second. I wasn't ready for it. So I, I thought maybe I'd go for a home clause and it. And I was like, all right, uh, the hell with this. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to bring in Gudra. Now, Gudra ends up getting created by the, the gyro ball on the way in. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, I'm going to have to wait another match to end up, you know, using Gudra because I have no idea of what it's like to use a Gudra. So uh, I'm like, all right, let's 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 stop this. Let's bring in Mega Agron. Let's paralyze him. Now, I, I T-wave because I'm thinking... Maybe he'll get Parahaxed on when he's trying to do a King Shield, and I could 
you know, finally be able to take them out. But I end up throwing out my uh, my stealth rocks. I always forget who's left on his team, so I figured, you know, it would help with something. And you'll see later on in the match, it does end up helping. So I take out the big sword. He ends up bringing his Greninja and uh, goes for a Hydro Pump. This team, or however you say his ability, assuming it's a Dream World ability, and it makes all of his attacks like stab attacks, like he changed typing, which that's actually really cool. But I want to get Mega Aggron out, because I, I don't want to waste a Mega. It's just, he's a Mega. We have a spawn each other. So I bring in my Pangoro, go for a Sky Uppercut. I do outspeed because he's paralyzed, and take him down. He ends up bringing a Gardevoir. Megas uh, uh, comes in with a Moonblast. I've heard of it, never seen an action. He he pretty much uppercutted me straight to the moon. Talonflame comes in, goes for Flare Blitz, takes out the Mega Gardevoir. Now he brings in his Talonflame. Uh, I'm not running max speed. I don't know if he's running max speed, but he ends up going for a, a Flying Jump Boost at Acrobatics. Agron eats that. He was like, mmm, delicious. And uh, ends up getting <laughs> smashed by a Flare Blitz and, and goes away. Now I bring in the Scarf Tynantrum. My Scarf from Max Speed does let me outspeed the Talonflame. So he heads down. And then, forgetting that the Kabrink was on uh, 1 HP, he ends up dying on entry. However, 6th uh, Gen is definitely something cool I could get into. Uh, don't mind it. There's a lot of things I still need to learn. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And uh, anything else? You can leave it there too. You like it, don't like it, that's cool. K-bye.